every uh, every so often it's uh, it, we can never tell it's never scheduled but it, it is scheduled but uh, it's not scheduled by per time it's based on when a student arrives in Joshua House we'll have a graduation and um, Joshua House is not an easy ministry to go through it's challenging and it's meant to be that way it's meant to be challenging because we're challenging um, mentalities, we're challenging decisions, we're challenging behaviors, uh, we're challenging mindsets, we're challenging relationships, uh, decisions that uh, the, the men have had and, and have done. We're challenging uh, forms of discipline and we're trying to initiate a sense of self-discipline. And so all of these things, we've only got 12 months to do it. We may say this is a year program. It's only a year program. That's all it is. And um, what makes our ministry different from secular ministries is that we're asking the individuals to reach outside of themselves. We're not asking them to find a power within. We're trying to find a power from out. If, if they were able to do it from within, they would not need Joshua House ministry. They would have already done it by themselves. Man. Uh, they would have been able to do it. If they could have done it through their family, it would have happened already. Uh, but when they come to us, we connect them to God. We don't call God a higher power. We call him who he is. He's Jehovah God. Um, he is God Almighty. And so uh, this is just the starting point. This is the beginning point. When they graduate, it is the beginning of the rest of their lives. And one of the things that we always tell our graduates is don't ever think that you have it together. The time that you think you have it together is when you don't have it together. And you, it can get away from you. Always maintain. Don't just survive, but thrive. And so this morning, we have uh, an opportunity to uh, honor and celebrate one of our graduates. We uh, are going to miss this uh, gentleman. Uh, we certainly are. Pastor, you agree, you know. And um, he's a great guy. We tried to extend his time by getting him on a shirt violation uh, yesterday. His shirt was a little wrinkled, and I thought, Charlie, isn't there anything in the policy for a wrinkled shirt? we got to give him 30 extra days or something. And, uh, unfortunately, there wasn't anything that, like that. But uh, why don't you uh, help me celebrate by welcoming uh, Lonnie Johnson. Uh, You know, that's that, that's it right here. This was your last morning. You had a really good homemade breakfast this morning at the house. What what what, what do we have this morning? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get you a mic here. Bring that wireless mic. Oh, that's right. oh that's close. Close. Yeah. so tell everybody what a homemade breakfast was. Oh, uh, let's see. It was some uh, nice cinnamon crunchy. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. It's no, all the time. It's it's happen all the time. There was no way around it this morning, and that's what it was. Yeah. Like, man, how to go quick? So. so, if you notice, we're gonna we're gonna call up a couple of people here shortly. But uh, he has his uh, Habitat for Humanity shirt on, and uh, if you will, he would turn around here and uh, uh, talk about. with Habitat for Humanity. We're just really thrilled about and excited about it. And, uh, uh, we, we love it, and I hope they love us like we love them. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 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 Charlie, go ahead if you want to say a few things about him and, uh, and to him, and then we'll pass the mic down to the other leaders, and you guys say a few words, and then we'll uh, bring Habitat up here. Yeah, and we say no, actually, the whole year, he's, he's been great. He's been working with Habitat almost the whole year, huh? Like maybe three weeks now. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's been working with him uh, all year long. Uh, in fact, they're, they're here to uh, help him with his graduation today. Uh, he's been a great mentor to some of the fellows in the house. Um, and and I always want to say that uh, the teachers and the and the uh, uh, congregation, the love and support that you've given them through the years is what brings them to this point. Uh, so this is a part of all of you too. Uh, uh, our teachers uh, uh, come in and, and teach them in scripture, Bud, Mindy, uh, uh, Paige, and then we have H&I that comes in and teaches them 
brings uh, speakers in to teach them and stuff and, and give testimonies. And this fellow's just been outstanding. He hasn't caused too much trouble. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not allowed to tell you guys any of this stuff. We're under heaven, so I can't. <laughs> he's been great. And uh, so is his wife and, and daughter. They've been uh, supportive of him the whole year. And, uh, and here he is, finally. You only have one more to do after that. Uh, uh, Alani, I want to say uh, for nine uh, nine months out of the year, you got on my nerves. Yeah, you ain't got to lie. The, the other three months, you did do a good job. You, you were a good student and um, a leader. You got leadership mentality, you know, just all around good guy. Your hard worker, everything. Because you, you got to shine a glow since you've been to Joshua House. Just hold on to it. Just stick with it, you know. Just make sure you got it. I want I want to see you going when I see you out there, because I will see you. I'm going to come to your house with the cup, with the urine cup. And come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Congratulations and uh, good job, mate, to the year. And, uh, good luck out there. Let me see you. First of all, congratulations, brother. Uh, like I told the service last night, uh, he is just a fun guy to be around. Always positive, always uplifting. Always ready to speak the word of God to anybody to, to receive it. And uh, he is a shining light out there. And, you know, he's the type of guy where if you're having a bad day, you can go find Lonnie 10 minutes later, no more bad day. Yep. He's just, he has that spirit about him. It's just the uh, spirit of God in him. And uh, we, you know, we love him. We're going to miss him a lot. He has a saying that he likes to walk around the house. When you ask him how he's doing. Too blessed Too to be stressed. That's right. Too blessed to be stressed. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and, I, and I always think about, you know, if God is with us, who could be against us? And I always think about that when he says that, because that's how he walks, that's how he handles his day. He walks just in the light, and uh, he's just a good guy to be around. I love you, and I'm going to miss you, brother. Congratulations. Amen. I want to say something about Lonnie real quick. Uh, I admire your effort, and I admire your smile, and I admire your heart. And I talked to Lonnie a few days ago, and I said, God's got big plans for you. And I said, the church has poured a lot into you, more than you'll ever know. Because we take somebody with nothing. And we're going to provide the food, and we're going to provide the clothes, and we're going to provide the uh, inspiration and the teaching, and uh, uh, hopefully teach work ethic and all the things that we do. So the church, it's a, it's a hard thing. It takes a lot of volunteers, it takes a lot of workers, it takes a lot of money. But we poured that into you because we believe in you. So I told him, I said, so remember, I said, I want to see you around here. And God's got a place for you to get plugged in because God's got a ministry of some kind for you and I want you to find that. So I just want you to know you have a group of people at church that support you, that are praying for you, and love you with all of their heart. Amen. Well, let's show the video first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's show the video. Can we have the video, please? Hello, Crossroads. My name is Lonnie Johnson, Jr. And uh, before coming to uh, Joshua House, uh, my life was in turmoil. It was full of uh, toxicity and relationships and drug use. I, uh, sat down at a point in my life where I couldn't take it anymore and humbly prayed to God to change my life and asked Him to take control of it because I couldn't do it no more. I couldn't, I couldn't change the things that were going on and it was just out of my control and I realized that. So I prayed earnestly to Him and woke up the next morning in a moment of chaos to at which point I was tucked to jail for some uh, perceived incidents. And while sitting in jail, I, uh, I was definitely scared. 
definitely scared. Not fearful, but scared. And I prayed again and asked God, you know, I can't change this side of my control. And I sat there and I did what was necessary. I waited. 30 days later, I was uh, released into a program named Joshua House. And it was nice. So once I got to Joshua House, um, I immediately jumped into helping the assistants however possible. Uh, the attitude there was was good. Um, gentlemen, the, the brothers there were very helpful. Um, good attitude, atmosphere was great. It was definitely a blessing to be there. Uh, and immediately I could feel that this was the place to be. Never experienced anything like it. And they asked me to go to some of the job crews, which was consisting of church crew, tree crew, construction crew, and landscaping crew. Um, about three weeks in, they asked me to partake in a pilot program with Habitat, at which time um, I proceeded to work, start working for Habitat for humanity. And uh, that has been an enormous experience thus far. So after Joshua House, um, I plan to partake in, look up a few companies that's offered me jobs. Um, I've been fortunate to get a enormous amount of job opportunities, uh, at least in waters. So I'm gonna look at those and see what's available. Um, I plan to stay in contact in contact with Joshua House. I love my brothers there. Uh, it's just a good brotherhood. We're, we're definitely a union, so I'd love to see them and let them know that succeeding and what steps are need to be taken to, to do that. Uh, Joshua House Church, Crossroads Church, I plan to stay connected with, with the community there. It's supportive and it's the change that I've needed in my life that's brought me this far. It wouldn't, my life wouldn't be what it is now if it wasn't for the love and support that I've gotten from the community congregation of Joshua, Joshua House in the, in the church. Um, I love all of you guys. I love all of you. It's uh, definitely uplifting and supportive. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, plan to find some housing. Need to find housing for me and my family. So we'll be searching for that. I'd like to thank Pastor Jim, Pastor Gill, and all the Crossroads community for uh, supporting me and making it possible for this opportunity. Without you, there would not be any me today. I wouldn't be graduating. I wouldn't have the mindset that I have. Um, thank all the brothers at Joshua House. Thank you, Terry. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, brothers. Thank you all. Um, the administration there, the leadership there, it's awesome. You guys keep doing what you're doing because it works. You guys are definitely set apart from the rest of the world. And uh, you guys are a blessing to the folks that uh, get to come in contact with you. All right. We'd like to, uh, we'd like to uh, bring up uh, Marcelino, which was uh, his uh, supervisor, uh, uh, Lonnie's supervisor, while he was out there. And uh, um, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, sit in the foyer uh, just as a form of support here for him um, at, uh, while he was here during the blackout period. So uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. 
I would love to say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, the Joshua House mission is faith-based, and Habitat for Humanity's mission is faith-based. But when we came together is where we saw the crossroads. Yeah. It's a great vision. It's a great vision. It's been an incredible experience. We have learned a ton from Lonnie. Uh, we learned a ton from Juan, from Big Lonnie, from Dakota, you know, from right there. Right? right? Um, so we've got, uh, we've got guys that have done amazing work for Habitat, and it's turned out to be an experience that we're going to see continue to grow. Uh, Victor Campbell is one of our board members, and uh, the board uh, made the decision that for uh, each of the Joshua House guys that come and work with uh, Habitat, for each of the hours that they work, uh, separate from paying Joshua House for the assistance and for the service, we want to set a dollar an hour aside for the individual, so we have that represented in this check for Lonnie. Wow. Is yours? Wow. Uh, our CEO, uh, Joseph Hale, had a uh, scratchy throat, a headache, the nose was running, and so there were three yellow flags saying, don't expose everybody. <laughs> um, but, uh, but this one, uh, we hope, is uh, just going to be able to help you take one brief step and, and get started. But we're not we're not done, and uh, we're ready to get going. Uh, I would like to take a quick moment to introduce the district attorney for Yuba County, uh, Lynn Curry. I'd also like to introduce uh, Shadow Sorbello and his whole family. Um, had fingerprints on Lonnie uh, a couple of times, and uh, uh, about a month or so ago, we got to go over and visit uh, with those two. And what an incredible moment to see that uh, we can make a difference in the faith centers coming around uh, and people's souls uh, really is counted. And we saw God's grace uh, rise up bright in this one, and uh, we think it should spread, and we can't wait to see how we can grow this to even better, better places. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I will say one last thing. I, I don't want to turn it up. One last thing. We go above and beyond Joshua House. And one of the things that we do is we do a re-entry program. And we help them find jobs. We do resumes. We help them apply for jobs. We help them get into jobs. We help them try to get uh, vocational training. We help to help uh, expunge their uh, uh, criminal records, uh, get into the military. Uh, we help to get their driver's license. If they haven't got a driver's license, we take them to Pathways. So that all this stuff is set up. By the time they graduate, that they'll be ready to get back into society and, and be productive members of society. Um, we help them get their GEDs, so they, they'll have their GED by the time they graduate from our program. It isn't just a matter of getting them off the, uh, the, the drug. It's helping them get reestablished back into society and so in a move forward. Yeah. So that's that's we do we do more within this within the small group here that we have of um, of uh, uh, the Joshua House staff than and I've worked in multiple uh, um, uh, rehab rehabilitation uh, organizations. We do more here within Joshua House and I'm not trying to boast about us, but I'm telling you we do more than a lot of the organizations out there do. And they just focus on the addiction part. We take it to the next step. And, um, and you're going to be getting your license when? In about six months. And we've been working on this with you for how long? The whole year. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll have my license completely in six months, but I have a um, restricted license so we're all going to drive two hours. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. It'll be completely released in six months. I'm going to tell you I have a restricted license. You have one more class to go. I have uh, six more classes, but I have six more months of classes, but it's only one time a month. Yeah. Whereas before you were going every week for the past year. For every week of the month. Yeah. And and Jerry took him every week for the past year. Okay. All right. Hey, and we can get the guys from Dr. Cross coming up over a quick fun. Pastor. Pastor. Um, I would just like to say that this has been one of the most impactful years of my life. 
the opportunities that um, I've incurred or came across have been only God sent. Everything from being released to Joshua House, to the people I met in Joshua House, to the mentors that I now have in my life. Um, I remember coming here and being here working, and Pastor Gill asked me to come up to, to his office. And one of the questions he asked me, he said, Lon, what is your purpose here? What are you here for? And uh, I'm sitting at the table and I'm telling you, I want a new environment of people to build. I want, um, Thank you. 